Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Factorial Pole World. I am Elwin, and today what I want to do is get some of this copper straightened out. I've got these my bus going into provider chests that are kind of constantly empty because of, I think primarily because of this. Which is fine, because holy crap, I thought I needed green circuits. Well, okay. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so I guess I don't need green circuits as much as I thought. Wow. So let's set a couple conditions on our output here so that they'll stop working. Um, I don't need them to. But yeah, I still need to work on getting some copper squared away. Um, green circuits obviously are kind of okay at the point, or at this point. Steel's looking good. My red circuits really do need a lot of work. I think that's kind of what I want to focus on. Because I have all of these set up, but they just can't output. Not outputting because of a copper shortage. Kind of. Seems like it's more plastic related than anything else. So, check on my plastic production. I think I've only got four, four things making plastic. Four, yep. So, that'll have to change. Um, yep. Should be relatively easy to sneak a couple more in. Right, I can put in another one right here. Sure. Maybe. Maybe. Put that rubble port back down. I'll build a couple more up here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna run out of coal. I have a train shipment, one train shipment splitting between two docks. I guess one of those docks is down here meant to fuel my trains. That is full. That's good. I can concentrate on Cranking up this uh, plastic production. Probably put some productivity modules in my plastic. So it, you know, it gets created really quickly. It's going to be enough for my existing plastic. Yeah, I mean, plastic produces naturally quickly. That'll just give me an extra 20%. Oh, and we're out of petroleum. Oh, that's why. That's my real issue right there. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Do I not have a train coming in? I think that's probably what's happening. That's automatic. Farl is fine. Just iron. You are stopped because the real tanker gas oh that might be a production issue that's really strange all right i gotta go take a look at production i think i want to hold off on about this passing the science center i think i want to hold off on Anything that requires purple science, until I can get my module situation squared away. I approve of that. That's um, a okay. Got trains that are stopped for no good reason. 
have a lot of trains stopped and it's going to be you're stopped because you're not getting anything and you're not getting anything because oh man because we are full of heavy oil and this is not working what have i done to make this not work i disconnected stupid 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 Well, is that going to be enough? This will start draining. I need another refinery here. Luckily, I just made more. That's... gonna look a little weird but it will be okay really not have pipe don't have pipe holy crap there now I have one pump soon to be two no, I'll just move that down a little bit looks so strange okay so that's gonna help push this stuff out of here I'm gonna take that though and to put that here so that I can hook up circuit conditions That's already on a certain condition. Cool. Yes, okay. <laughs> it's slow, but it's uh, it's actually working now. Slow is better than stopped. This is a waste of power. Do not need that anymore. Okay. Um, well, I'm happy with that. Let's grab what little there is. That. That was a huge mistake that, like, oh, that really hurt. Oh, well, we're back on track. Everything is going to be okay. Just hop in this train. You can go to your next destination. Wow. That wasn't great. That was really bad. Oh, well, it's fixed. So that actually means I can concentrate on copper. You know, provided all of my batteries don't get consumed by my accumulators. I don't really have enough accumulators there. I mean, I have, my potential power is huge right now. Emulators are fully charged, so I should be good for a while. Oh, okay. So I was looking at this, I'm like, that's half full. Why is this not, not working? Especially if there are two tanks connected. It is. It's just not fair. Oh, I thought there was another dock right there. <laughs> not paying attention to my surroundings. Great. So, 5k um, green circuits. Oh, beautiful. So, we have plastic coming in now. These guys should kick in a high gear. Or 
or at least start working is good. And I really need to determine what I just really need to uh, get this squared away. Maybe make another column for my for production. And start up all the steel as well. Oh, that's a drain. Don't have those. That's okay. I like those production modules being on plastic. Well, so I'm actually doing okay here. Let's see what kind of research I can do. It doesn't require purple science. Cool, plastic is starting to back up. Not having any issues with deliveries. Still not really keeping up with demand. These things need all the modules need a ton of circuits. Well, I guess these do too. Green circuits. Hmm. Okay. On to copper. Let's see if we can square away some copper now. Question is, do I want copper? delivered in the same spot that I'm delivering it now. For that matter, do I want iron ore to be delivered in the same place? Well, I think the answer to that is no. So I need... It's not copper ore that I'm delivering, it's copper plate. I need to think about copper plate, rather. I make green stop here ish. Place everything. Make sure that I have all of all the connections squared away. I need some more belt. Oh, I'm good with red. Stop that flashing. There, and then careful with my um, signals. not stand on the tracks. Okay, so everything is hooked back up. It's going to break. Move these. Hmm. Okay. Nah. Signal this up. It's going to be a normal signal. Um, and then what? Let's 
decide how I want this train station to look. Figure out any gunk that. Let's go get some engines for the trains and the steel and the iron and all that stuff. Steel. I need two trains. Check. Four cargo wagon. So that's four cargo wagons. Laid this thing down. I think Farrell's got train station. Doesn't have train stops. I have train stops. I don't have train stops. What in the hell? Station. Right there. So that's copper plates unload. Cool. It's getting to be a very cramped area. See if it's going to be a problem sometime. Nah, John, because I don't know. So your job is copper plate unload. Here's empty. Now, you're there. Let's turn you off. All right. Is it time? I think it might be time for robot ports. Which means that I need to isolate the network. I don't need to have anything coming up here, anymore, do I? So that's all coal coming up here. Need my plastic. Coal train is coming here. That's fine. Go away. Cool. So that means that I have, I can only place my robo ports right here, this line. So I want to have clear separation between my train stops and the rest of my base. Which really no big deal. Just gotta be careful. Let's go switch in the spot. There and we'll connect that here. Everything happy? Everything's happy. Now that the stone has to be rerouted. Rerouted. Not onto the coal. Because that would be bad. It doesn't have to be blue belt, so. Oops, misclick there. There. Okay, so my stone is reconnected. That's another thing that's got to be done soon. It is getting stone trained into the base. I'm going to need more ports. And I'm probably going to need more power. Oh, I just said I was all set. This is going to change how I consume. No question. Hmm. 
Oops, I put those in the wrong spot. <laughs> I love the advanced robot tech. It is so good. All right, so let's give it some power. Yeah, no, nothing. Nobody wants to close down. Lazy robots. And, well, I've got all of that there, but. And with that, let's do a line here. Just hopefully, they will prioritize these yellows. Unload that chest, and then they can drop it up here in, like, bigger storage chest area. I don't know if that's how it's going to work, but that's how I want it to work in my brain. I think I have a RoboPort closer so I can kind of, I don't know, maybe build some robots when these guys are low, which is going to be a lot. Anyway, uh, that's about 22 minutes into the episode, so thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, shut it down, evaluate what's going on, and uh, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.